finally, yeah, and perhaps m most convincingly, yeah. after investigating the discrepancy between police identified felonies oh, and the filing of those cases as misdemeanors by prosecutors, yes, California State Attorney General concluded that police were inflating charges uh -huh, and, um, and not prosecutors lessening them. Ooh. Perhaps in some way, police were trying to create prosecutorial currency yes, through charge inflation. Mm -hmm. This phenomenon needs further study. Yes. Mm. Now, I would say that you were inflating the charges yes. mm -hmm. because I wasn't in Squim and I wasn't in Jefferson County. Mm -hmm. See, the two convictions, yes, of uh, the two-count criminal complaint, yes, would be a Class C felony. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't really stipulate in the actual protection order itself, yes, how to satisfy the two convictions so as to get the felony. Yes, it could be that either of the arrests, right now, for immediate felonies for conviction, yes, both of the serious crimes per se, mm -hmm. when prosecuted, uh, both of them, yes, creates a Class C felony that would put me in prison. Right now. Now, this charge inflation, right, where you separated out the cyber stalking from the restraint provisions of the protection order. Yeah. That on or about June 16th of 2017. Yes. On the uh, court record, the audio and the video of the court hearings. Yes. Mm -hmm. That Brett Roberts said that I had told my wife I wanted to blow her face off. Yes. The problem was I was making videos in front of the Masonic Temple that day. Yes. I was at the senior center. Yes. There was no possible way that I could have said that. So you're inflating the charges by separating the restraint provisions of the protection order. Yes. So it wasn't just one charge of violating the restraint provisions. Yes. And then two charges. Uh, well, it actually wouldn't be two charges. It'd be violating two of the restraint provisions of the protection order on the same day. Ow! Now, for some reason, okay, this uh, in this currency of prosecuting, I'm absolutely sure that you were inflating the charges. It's kind of like saying I was there at 7.47 a.m. on December 31st of 2015, when I was there. Yes. And then uh, somebody filed a police report, but it was actually a traffic citation. And then I went back later on that afternoon. Right now! And you thought, well, we'll inflate the charges twice, twice right now. 